quite the little star lately. I think you, uh, you had a uh, Brazilian television station come. Yeah. Is that right? I think that was a different experience for my whole family. Because my we were we thought they were gonna eat dinner with us but they just watched us so that was really weird to me but yeah, I think it's fun but I mean, Rio is still so far away so it's kind of crazy that they came but I guess they're expecting to see me there so we'll just have to work towards that goal I've had my ups and downs in trainings, but I think overall it's been pretty good for the most part with all the gym switching and all the adjustments that we've had to make lately. Have you been nice on your shoulder? Yeah. The Simone's shoulder injury was uh, more of a, a chronic use thing as opposed to an acute injury. She had been learning some new twisting skills on bars and we think that that was kind of what aggravated it. I went to the doctors, several doctors actually, because Marta made me go there, but um, one of them called it an instability, no, a multi-directional instability shoulder. So I guess it like comes out of place easier than it should. Yeah, every day we have to monitor it because it basically if she gets too fatigued, if that muscle group gets too fatigued, then, then the shoulder starts to slide a little bit. If she tells me it's tired, we back off. We do things that aren't gonna bother it because there's lots of stuff that we can do that doesn't involve the shoulder. You need to tell me if something is hurting when you're doing it so we know if, I mean, some days it doesn't hurt and it's fine to do. We do more of them on that day. Well, we kind of used the time that we were off to improve on other areas like dance, choreography, artistry, flexibility, general strength. Then I got to work a lot of beam, <laughs> which is my favorite. Um, and then I guess clean up some of my other skills on my other events and stay away from bars for a little bit. We did a lot of cardio just to make sure that when we started putting routines back together, she wasn't fatigued from them. A lot of the time I send her home on her treadmill <laughs> and her elliptical at home. She should be doing her cardio at home since she has a treadmill at home. You didn't. Liar. You're a bad liar. And even if that were true, you have an elliptical too. Well, we give them both away. <laughs> Through her physical therapy, she's really gotten that stronger and the shoulder is much more stable at this point. And I think it's, um, been getting a lot healthier and stronger, so I think I'm good to go. But until the day that the physical therapists and the doctors and everything say she's 100%, I'm gonna keep treating the shoulder like it's 75%. You feel okay? Or does it hurt? Um, it just starts to hurt after, but yeah. It doesn't matter, I have to. She's been training. I think she's doing really well. Yesterday was, I mean, her beam was phenomenal. I, I couldn't even. I wish you had videoed yesterday's beam. Today was a little more rough, but you know, it was, that happens. You know, we have good workouts, we have eh workouts. And um, so even today was good. It just wasn't as fabulous as yesterday. Her floor, her stamina looks like she's gonna be able to handle full floor routines with no issue. Um, vault, very, very strong. You know, she's a natural vaulter, so that really isn't too much of a problem with her. And then on bars, you know, I'm, I'm keeping my fingers crossed about bars, you know, that we're doing all of the right things to protect her shoulder and to make sure that she's gonna be prepared to do full routines. Keeping our fingers crossed that the technique is sound enough that it will all be there when we're putting it all together in front of Marta. Um, Marta was just a little bit worried about my shoulder, so she just wants to make sure that I'm 100% and that all my skills look pretty good to go out and perform it in front of everyone. But I think Marta really helps me and she um, tells me that I can do it. So hearing that from her makes me feel a lot better about myself and whenever I go to compete. I think that Marta figured out Simone because Simone is not your typical kid who loves to come in and would train 80 hours a week if they were allowed to and their bodies could handle it. You know, Simone is one of those kids who likes to get it done the quickest way possible. And you know, so that's kind of how we have to train her. You know, you do this number well, you can be done. You know, if you're going to slop through it, you're going to do more. So let's, you know, let's be efficient with it. Want three of them stood up? The relationship that we've all had, I mean, the, like the three of us, has definitely just 
come along in the last two years uh, from being this kid who I don't think she thought initially would be anything. I mean, she saw her tumbling at one of her first developmental camps and said she can fly like a butterfly, but you know, she couldn't do a straight body cast handstand. And so that's progressed to somebody who got fourth in the world at, on bars. The moment that I realized that Marta had figured out Simone was we were actually at camp. She was just struggling and she left Beam kind of just dejected and I could tell, you know, I knew Simone was already upset and Marta sat down on the floor next to her and very, very encouragingly and peacefully just had a conversation with her. And like that moment, I knew that they had formed a bond. She just came and sat down next to me and she was just kind of cheering me up and just saying, it's fine, like we all have off days, I've seen you do this before, don't be so hard on yourself. And I think that's boosted my confidence a lot, knowing that she's here to help me and that's all she wants and she wants the best for all of us. We had a very nice talk and made her understand more what this means. All of this was completely new to her. I saw a change from that moment and gradually she became more and more self-motivated. And what I'm trying to tell them if in your heart you don't want to do it and you don't want to be better we cannot make you do it better it's totally if you love what you're doing and if you have the ambition to become the best then that's the only way to uh, do the results anytime I uh, I start getting nervous or getting stressed out about you know the good the bad everything that's happened in between I've got the mantra of you are exactly where you're supposed to be so you know and that kind of calms me down if I start getting upset or nervous about something because you know it's all part of a journey and it's all part of a path and you know we're traveling this together and it's to me coaching has always been more about the athlete than about myself and I'm glad that I can guide them along the path but they're the talent you know that's got to get out on the floor and I think that the coaches are the talent behind the scene. I got a plaque for um, the 2013 National Coach of the Year so it was quite an honor it was a nice surprise I actually just happened to I thought I was the only person here and I went to go meet the UPS truck and there was a plaque there for it so it was, it was quite an honor. That's pretty cool. Nice honor. My first reaction was, why me? <laughs> but I guess that my philosophy on coaching is different than some other people's, and so uh, I guess I'm just different and just different. <laughs> oh, probably get slammed down for this, but you know, it's just gymnastics, and it's, you know, it's just a part of your life. It's not your life. It is what you do for that time and any lessons that you can take from what you're doing right now is gonna benefit you. You know, good, bad, ugly, um, victorious, disastrous, they're all gonna help you in your life. And so gymnastics is just a part of it and it's just gymnastics. So when we're dealing with kids who just feel devastated that they didn't qualify to their state meet, it's just gymnastics, honey. You get back in, you work harder, you try, you, you, you're just, everything is, it's all relative, I guess. <laughs> you know, I'm a mother, I'm a wife, I'm a gymnastics coach. I've been in the gym since I was six, and I love it, and I'm passionate about it, and I want success, but I just have to keep things in perspective. And also trying to have the kids that I coach keep it in perspective. You know, something that might feel devastating right now is not necessarily going to ruin your life. It's just gymnastics, and take it and learn from it, and move on. <laughs> sangria, that's the color of it. It's sangria. I'm just kind of riding all of this and enjoying every moment of it because, you know, YOLO, right? <laughs> <laughs> Simone is a kid who loves to compete. You know, that's a big thing for her. You'll have those kids who like to train but aren't crazy about competing. Simone's just the opposite. You know, she's not crazy about training. She loves to compete. You give her a contest in the gym, she wants to win it. You put her out on a competition floor in an international stage, she wants to win. 
that's kind of how she is. I think coming back into competition as a world champion, I think it puts a lot more pressure on myself and um, everyone has higher expectations. So I think that part will be a little bit nerve wracking, but I think I can handle it. <laughs> For Worlds this year, you know, I, I would like to say that her difficulty is going to be high enough and her execution should be strong enough that she has a good chance of repeating. I don't know what the rest of the world is bringing, but right now our goal is just set on making this world's team and you know being able to represent again in China. We hadn't had a conversation about going to the Olympics um, until after World Championships, you know, and actually I want to say it was probably last month was the first time that we had had a conversation about going to the Olympics at all. You know, and Simone said, you know, it just seemed so far away now I realize it's not that far away anymore. And she says, yes, I want to go to Rio. When I realized Rio actually wasn't that far away, it kind of scared me a little bit because that's like a really scary thought to think, like that's the Olympics. So it's just really scary, but I think that it's gonna be exciting. That's good as long as her body can stay healthy and she keeps enjoying what she's doing. I mean, sky's the limit for her.